Hi, this is George. In my continuing、uh, series of things you can doodle when you get bored, I'm going to introduce to you、uh, a pattern that I like to do when I'm bored, or like、um, when I'm on the bus.、Um, And maybe when I'm in my doctor's office or waiting in line、uh, for something, but I call this one the wave. Basically, when you get bored and you want to some do something that is relaxing. And not complicated,、um, and doesn't require a lot of thinking or forethought. I find that repeating patterns、um, consistently reduces the.、Um, The time you are bored, so that it's not as bad. So the wave, as you can see, is a series of wave-like forms across one side. To the other, and it's kind of random, meaning that there's no rhyme or reason. It's just a random bunch of lines, but in kind of、um, a flow-like arrangement. Here I'm. Inking in the basic shape, and I'm using a kind of、um, a thin point. I like to round out the. Edges or corners <clears throat> where lines come together, it kind of finishes finishes the duel、um, and makes it more、um, kind of a, a, a pops it. Out of the page. Now I'm using my、um, Hannah Miller、um, sketch pad. You can use it.、Um, use any kind of paper that you have at、uh, your disposal. I find the Hannah Miller good. For its size, and that way,、um, as opposed to doodling on、um, a random piece of paper, I don't lose the paper piece of paper、uh, during the day. Here I'm using a little bit of,、uh, well, a lot better, bigger、um, point size, because I want to have the、uh, the、uh, initial lines more pronounced. You'll see that、um, later on in the video. I have more lines 
and they're more finer. But you'll see that later on. But here I'm basically reinforcing the initial lines so that they're more pronounced. I wasn't going to use that, but it's important to know that you can change uh, what you want anytime you're doing a doodle. So, as you can tell, I am populating the individual areas with um, kind of a mimic of the initial design. I use that this when I um, as a pattern when I want to uh, do um, underwater areas or when I do the strands of hair on a head or the bark of a tree with a couple of variation but the more you play with this idea the more um, you can incorporate it to fit your your needs and and, and style And again, I'm rounding out the um, areas where two lines meet. You can um, forego this if you want, but um, for now, um, give it a, a try and see how you 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 like it after all this is your doodle you can do whatever you want to do this is just an example giving you an, an idea of what you can do And sometimes what I'll do is change the direction of a line to counter um, balance the overall. And if you missed it, I'm using um, a smaller point. Um, I find that you have better fun functionality and variety when you use different li um, line width on your doodles. Because if you do this, do it with experiment using the same width, but the same procedure, um, you'll see that it, it's like totally different. Now this doodle, um, all told, took about maybe a half an hour. So if you're in a meeting or on the bus, I wouldn't do it when you're in traffic and you're driving. It's silly. But um, when you have a few minutes, 
you can start and then stop if you have to change locations um, and you can always pick it up again at a later time. I find that doing something like this, um, the repetition is very calming. Now, this one I is uh, a really tiny, tiny point. It's a 0.28, um, and I use this a lot when I do uh, de detail work on some of my doodles. I haven't used it a lot in these videos because um, I was loading um, 780, but with me doing um, 1180p, it's better. And you can uh, actually see what's going on. Now the pop-up that appeared is for a link that I have in the description. So if you like the video and want to support my channel, um, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Although I don't really drink coffee, you can buy me a water because you can always drink more water. So, thank you. And if you don't want it, that's fine too. As you can tell, I get carried out away sometimes with the amount of detail I, I put in my stuff. And sometimes my... Um, staking um, hands is not too bad but sometimes it's it's more than others so if you have a shaking hand don't worry nobody will know when you finish So here's a couple of close-ups. So the video I'm going to suggest you see is part of my uh, series on what to do when you get bored. <laughs> 